Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. It's blowing out here. It's, it's, it's really blowing that um, uh, I want to I want first and foremost to tell you that I'm okay. Um, I'm okay. I thank God, and uh, I want to say that um, well, things are, are happening. But of course, people want me to. A lot of people have been asking me, "Have you gotten?" It's trending on social media. Tayari has gotten asylum uh, in, um, in in South Africa. I am not going to say anything about that. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not. I'm not going to touch uh, that that subject. But uh, um, you will know in due course. Like like always. I mean, me. I don't hide things. I'm not a person that uh, you know is going to to keep quiet and not. I want you to know what is going on at the right time. I will give you. Uh, what is going on? Of course, some people are saying, "Ah, no, you should keep quiet, like Aiza Zulu. You should keep quiet, like uh, Gondwe and whatever, whatever." I want to tell you. I want you to know. I want you to know that I'm not going to keep quiet. In a mwakula mbona daily, mwakula mbona daily, I will be talking. I'm not going to stop talking. I'm not going to stop talking. Um, so oh, forget it and you know most of the times you people who like to advise me no turn down turn down I turn down for who I turn down for who who's interest eh? no keep quiet I keep quiet at who's who's interest who's going to benefit out of that who's going to benefit no your family whatever 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 to hell with you I'm telling you to hell with you do you even care about my family do you even care about my family you don't care about my family. Let me struggle. It's me who look after my family. Leave my family away from this nonsense. Don't even talk about my family. My family, my family. Kwa timula wa pobunga. Kwa timula njafu wako. Eh? Eh, hey, your wife, your wife. Tamuwa ni koko nare mupa. Tamuwa ni shofo tumfuwa na fwewe. Tamuwa ishiva. Tamuwa ishiva. So shut up. Eh, hey, your children. Eh, hey, whatever, whatever, whatever. Shut up. I'm telling you. Shut up. Don't even talk about my family. You don't know anything about my family. You don't know. And so don't pretend like you know, you care about my family. You don't. You don't. I'm, I'm headed for prison. I'm headed for prison. So if I keep quiet, then what? I kept quiet. Didn't I keep quiet? I kept quiet. I even started, you know, helping this useless government of Haka in the HLM. A very divisive uh, government of Waka in the HM. I even started helping. But, da, you are too selfish. You are too selfish and, and, and very regional. You couldn't embrace me. You couldn't because you are regional. You couldn't embrace me. It's nonsense to say, no, no, no. Hey, they didn't trust you, whatever, whatever. Who should be trusted? Because I offered my goodwill. Did they? Did they? No, they didn't trust you. They didn't trust you. What about them? Do you think they are worth trusting? Eh? Do you think Haka in the is worth trusting? At least me, I took a risk to trust him. I took a risk to trust him. I took a risk to put myself there. But what did he do? What about him? Eh? Why do you always like to give excuses for Haka in the you always want to give excuses for Haka in the HLM. Even when things are failing, you want to give excuse. Everything you want to give him excuse. You, no matter how much you try to give him excuse, the, the, the reality is before us. You cannot beat this 
Haka inde inchilema has failed. Haka inde inchilema has to go. I mean, otherwise, why is he taking the country? Why is he taking the country? So don't give excuses. No, no, no. It is those people who surround Haka inde inchilema. What about himself? He's the one who appointed those people who surround him. Haka inde inchilema appointed those people who are around him. He's the one that appointed him. So why do you always give excuses for these leaders? Eh? You make them like they are small gods and you don't want to uh, impute guilt on them. But come on, the nonsense that is currently going on, it's all because of Haka in the Ichire. It's all because of Haka in the Ichire. It's nothing, it's all because of Haka in the Ichire. So, I am just telling you that Vaneko, but in any challenge, she will go to Landa, and go to Landa. Go, go forward. I'm not going to look back. I'll just be talking. What I don't care. I don't care. Whatever you say, I just don't care. Because you don't care. Hakan Dechlema just doesn't care. He only cares about himself. So, forget it now. To ala puishanya. To re puishanya. Oko mkansa ingile fafine nga mkansa nga mkansa nga. Nga tamu wakansa nge. Nga misa nga. E filipu wapavane. I'm not going to rest. I will keep talking and I will make sure that at least the Zambian people are enlightened because some Zambians really, you know, now I'm going to talk about the doubt. I'm going to talk about Tapali Filippo. Tapali Filippo. Yolo kusanga tamu wakansange. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> tamu wakansange. Wazambezi fosi. <laughs> Na chipwa. Na chipwa. Lave niko. Lave niko. Lave niko. Lave niko. Kose nifi. Kose nifi. Kose nifi. And, but, Muzambia mwena will come back. Zambia is my country. And I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to shower away. A chan chan yon shile moneka na akula moneka. Echo nde romba ko fecha kovat. Mwewe na Zambia. You have to know that. Ndi muntu wainu kuno. Those who can. I'm not going to start driving. Ama taxizi. Nangukuya muku. Muku kolo pa muma toilet. I'm not going to do that. So. Imwewe ne. You are the one that are going. That are, that are going to employ me. Ni mwa boy are going to employ me. I'll be working for you and you'll be looking after me. Eh. Na la mi pera ka namba fila fi ni mwa mwa mpose la mwaka tu kwa cha mwa mpose la mwaka tu kwa cha mwa mpose la mwaka tu kwa cha mpaka ika fike inshita. Inshita ya na ika suka ike fika. Mwaka inde ichi ni mwaka not continue. Now, look. On a serious note, it is sad that we are having this kind of situations where we have to start running away from our country. We have to start running out from our country. I'll give you more details with the experience that I've had so far. I mean, with a number of people that I've spoken to. And I want to say thank you very much to from the support that I've gotten. Let, let me tell you, Haka in the HLMA doesn't have a support. Uh, in the region, he doesn't have the support. At least in the region, you know, in the south, southern region, Haka in the HLMA doesn't have support. He doesn't have you would be shocked. One day I will be able to run you through how many people spoke to me, how many people called me when they heard that I'm out of the country. I'm telling you, I had different governments calling me. I, I'm, I'm really shocked what has happened. I'm really shocked. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And they are disappointed. You should hear how they are talking about it. To say, they are saying, basically, we thought that man was going to be different. That is a disgrace. I'm telling you, I've spoken to a number, a number of countries, basically, uh, in the region. I've spoken to a number of people in the region. They have been calling me. I've been calling to me on my phone. I've been calling to me on my phone. I will disclose at the right time, I will tell you. This one, this one, this one, this one. Of course, some of these things I, I need to be, um, you know, careful about it when I talk about them, uh, you know, because of the diplomatic whatever. But in them, Zambia, they are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They
He doesn't have. He doesn't have. Right? Just jack up and everything. The support is there. The support is there. They don't want Aka in the Ichirema. They don't want Aka in the Ichirema. In the region. And I can, I, I would, I wish I could mention the countries, but at, not at this point in time. Effort Chidi. And so you move Aka in the Ichirema. You, you thought that you are going to, to uh, you know, the problem of Aka in the Ichirema, sorry to use this example. You know, he, he brags that he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a cultural, um, he's a, he's a, he's a cattle rancher. And he looks at Zambia like it's a ranch. That is a problem. He looks at Zambia like it's a ranch. Where, you know, he is the, the, the kachema and we are the, the, the cows. That's how he looks at it. I mean, this is how the man has grown up. And I think he looks at Zambia like that. You know, where, you know, if somebody goes out of the way, he needs to be whipped. Pa, 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 pa. Get back in the line. If somebody goes into whipped, go back in the line. That is not leadership. It may work in, in cattle ranching, but it doesn't work when you are looking after human beings. I think this is where the problem is. Waka in the HDMI is coming from that background and he really thinks that you know he can rule a country like the way you control cows. We are human beings. We are not cows. We are human beings. We think. We, have, we reason. We have got our our, our our rights. We have got our freedoms. We have got our point of views. So all of us, we cannot be, you know, toiling the same line. No, we cannot. And I know when I talk like this, some fools will say it's, it's tribalism. No, no, it's not tribalism. I'm giving, I mean, even, even, uh, even uh, in many countries, <laughs> I mean, people look after cows. So I'm just drawing an analogy. I'm analogying. Because in this, in this world, only about to give us unge No, there are a lot of other people. Awa unge ngombe. And in many places, yes, in ngombe, they are controlled by whipping. Of course, in developed countries, they don't even whip them. But this is the mentality of Waka in the Ishirema, where he wants to whip everyone you know, in in this direction. And many of the people that are supporting Haka in the Ichilema, they also believe that people must be whipped in a certain direction. You can't whip people. A good leader does not use a, an iron fist to rule. A good leader does not use an iron fist to rule. A good leader, number one, he respects people. When you respect people, you also want to hear their views. You want to hear their views. You don't just talk about, no, you are my bosses. I'm your servant. No, you need to be practical about it. You need to be practical about it. A good leader listens from the citizens. But Haka in the doesn't listen to anyone. He, he is the one that has to talk. He is the one who has to tell you what to do. And that is where the problem is. Because... Woman on quite quite you can't rule a country like that. You can't. You can't. You need to listen to people. Waka in the doesn't listen to anyone. He doesn't. And I know even senior citizens that have tried to speak to him. Some of them they were his friends. And some of them they are just you know holding back. You know, I know one one senior citizen. You know, who is still holding on to him, hoping that, you know, this man would listen. But he has, he knows, he has given up. He has given up. Of course, I can't mention his name, but I'm telling you, a number of people have given up on Haka in the Ichilema. Because he doesn't want to listen to anyone. And he wants to whip anyone who goes in the other direction. You can't rule a country with an iron fist. Zambians will rise. And these are things that you don't want to hear. These are things that you don't want to hear. Just to say that Zambians will rise, it's criminal. It's, 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 it's treason. No! Zambians will rise. This is a fact. Zambians are patient. But at one point when it's too much, 
they will break out of the yoke. They will. They will break out of the yoke. They will take it up to a certain extent. Already people are getting fed up with the failures of Baaka in the HDM. And Baaka in the HDM thinks that he is going to control Zambia using the Zambezi force. There is a special branch of Baaka Pokola. There is a special branch of Baaka Pokola, the Zambezi force. They have carefully selected them, put them together. Put them together. And these are the ones who are being unleashed on uh, on people with divergent views. You always see all the time uh, a chan uh, uh, at uh, 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 at hate speech. It's always handled by uh, at force headquarters. Uh, whatever, whatever. There is that. It is a Zambezi force. It is a special branch by Vahaka in the Ichirema, which has been created by Vahaka in the Ichirema. To belong to the special, to the Zambezi force, you must be one who, who uh, you know, thinks, you know, like Haka in the HDMI is a god who should not be challenged. Whenever Haka in the HDMI is challenged, you need to, uh, that person must be arrested. We haven't, I mean, what is so upsetting? For me, what is so upsetting, in spite of, you know, me being out and being okay, I am so upset that I'm out of my country, not because I've left my family, not because of my children. No, I'm, I'm upset by the fact that I haven't done anything warranting me to going to, uh, 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 to, to another country, going to another government. Uh, that is what is very upsetting. That is what is very, very upsetting about it. I mean, Zambia, which has not been known, this is what people are saying. We never knew Zambia would reach this extent. We never knew Zambia would reach this extent. Even in Tanzania, even in, 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 in Uganda, Bobby Wine is there. Bobby Wine is there. You don't hear Bobby, my, Bobby Wine in court. What, what, what? Go to South Africa. You never hear South, uh, 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 what is this, Malema, in court every day, in court every day. Not even in Congo it's happening. Not even in Congo. Which country? Zambia has become a police state. There is no country which is so dictatorship in the region than Zambia. It is about the police. And now we even have this uh, Musamba. Eh? I mean, sometimes Mwakwata Kwenzoni. Eh? He's trying too much to, you know, to impress Waka in the HDM. Because even his language is just beyond what you'd expect of a police IG. Everything has gone so low. Our standards have gone so low. Our standards have gone so low. There is no professionalism. There is only kadarism. That's all. That's all. Haka in the Hichilem has become a, a god that has to be worshipped. Worship. If you don't worship Haka in the Hichilem, you are in trouble. People are not talking, but for how long are they going to keep quiet? And this is what I'm telling you. People will rise. You will remember me, Haka in the Hichilem. You will remember me. People will rise. You are nothing compared to President uh, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, who, uh, who had people rise. Who had people rise because of, 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 of uh, when they felt that it's too much? If they did, Padiwa Kaunda, what about you? And that time, Padiwa Kaunda, remember, there was no social media. There was no these live chats. They weren't there. That time, we were not as enlightened as we are now to our rights. Now we are alive to our rights. We know our rights. So for how long are you going to continue oppressing Zambians? You are oppressing Zambians. You are an oppressor. You are an oppressor. That young man you jailed and the number of people that are in jail right now for useless cases. Eh? You are boasting to say that we have removed a, 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 a defamation to the president. But you are getting people for hate speech. Nothing. That guy... Jackson Chama, who you jailed, you jailed Jackson Chama not for anything, but for criticizing you, Waka in the HDM. That's all. 
That's all. And all of you now, you are saying, no, 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 you shouldn't have. No, the guy was expressing his opinion. It doesn't mean that what he said would come to be or not be. I mean, if you reason, you say, I mean, who is this guy? You just ignore it. But now the guy has been put in prison for 12 months. I'm very disappointed about that. I felt so bad yesterday. I was really disturbed about it. You are messing up our country. And I don't have to tell Zambians to say, rise, rise, go to the streets. No. The time will come. This operation has, is almost reaching a boiling point. It, it will just erupt like a volcano. It will. You will see one day you will be shocked by Akain Delichima what will happen. You will be shocked. You will be shocked. You are worried about me. You are busy looking for me. Worry about many Zambians. Worry about many Zambians. Many Zambians, they will, they, will, they will reach a point where they can't take it anymore. You are taking away everything. You have increased the prices of, of commodities. You have Create you have you have removed all the opportunities for them. Yesterday I received a you know a video from from um, from uh, what is this from uh, um, Nakonde, where you know these maize traders are being are being detained. They are being detained in, in Nakonde. These maize traders, they went to buy maize so that they can, be, they can come and sell. They can go and sell in different parts of the country. And it has been detained. They have been detained. We have more than 150 trucks. We have more than 200 people stuck in Nakonde. Stuck in Nakonde because they went to buy maize. And this government has closed them up to say, no, you cannot take using their money they bought maize using their money and government has just come in to say no you cannot go and sell where is the liberalized economy where is creating the opportunity for zambia for the zambians what is wrong why have you kept those people in nakonde you have kept them you have locked them up for what because you want to buy that maize you are telling them they should take the maize to FRA, to go and sell to FRA. But Ukutu Afuma, you allowed your friends to buy maize and expose it, eh, export it. Foreigners were coming in this country to buy maize and exporting it. They were coming, buying maize and exporting it. Now, Zambians, they are not even exporting it. They are buying it, taking it to Ndola, taking it to Lusaka taking it to Chipata, and you, you, you close them up, you won't, you won't take this mess. What kind of leadership is that? Those Zambians are suffering, those that you have locked up, they are really suffering. It is really sad. Eh? So you are taking away, you are taking away the little that they have. Then you have Gary Combo, Gary Combo busy. I mean, with this harsh economy that we are experiencing, with these, uh, you know, high prices that we're experiencing. And Garin Combo is busy destroying markets, see? chasing people from, you know, the, their little places where they, they earn a little income. Garin Combo, those people that you are chasing, they existed even before you became a minister. That is not where the hazard is. The hazard is you removing them from the markets and they start suffering in Ezala. That is where we are now going to have street children. That is where we are now going to have, you know, uh, junkies, as you are calling them. That is where we are going to have, you know, uh, prostitutes. Because of what you are doing to these people. It's very, very sad. And I'm telling you, these things I'm talking about, it will not take long. We are not even looking at 2026, you having an election and losing. No. It is an issue of you being kicked out even before 2026. I'm telling you, your Zambezi force will not contain Zambians. They are feeling bad. But they can't come out. They can't speak. They are scared. 
Bala Vigisha Baseus, Chalavanashan, Chalavanashan. And they don't have help. This is another thing that I want to talk about. Please, Muevantu, help those who are trying to uh, fight for this country. Napapata, please help those who are fighting for this country. We have a number of young people who want to speak. So far, I'm receiving a number of text messages from young people. And they are saying, you know, we want to join this UCA. Where can we join this UCA? You know, we are scared to talk because if we talk, they will come and pounce on us. And no one is going to help us. And there is those who are actually in problems. They are failing. No one is reaching out to them. I was talking to one of the, the to one of the, the the gentlemen. I don't want to mention his name. He's has been incarcerated, and the relative is, they were talking to me. He said, "There is no one who is helping us, but I, who can help us?" Eh? And I I looked around. I couldn't even point to say at this one. But I do understand. I do understand the leadership may be struggling with resources, and this is where the business community Napapata. The business community, please, come in. Come in. You know, the change is has almost ripened. But you need to be courageous. You need to risk a bit. If you don't risk, nothing will happen. Risk a bit by supporting some of these young people. Don't just let them... No. Even some of these young people who are singing songs, whatever, whatever, look after them. Eh? I've got my young man, KKD. You know, he has been releasing very good songs and everything. Mes songs with, with a message. Please, bring that boy close. Help him out. So the business community, please, I'm telling you, this is your time to invest in the incoming government. This is your time to invest in the incoming government. The government of Akainde Ichileba is gone. This one is gone. Even if you don't, you don't see. This, they have already passed their half term. We are now Tambok Tentemukanumba. But he, he, he presented Sona, he couldn't even say anything. Nothing came out. By now, we would have been talking about what the president said, what the president said, but nothing came out. So, next year, he will finish Chapwa. In 2026, he So, the business community needs to come in. People must be seeing that, you know, uh, 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 there is somebody that is supporting. There is somebody that is, that is helping. Equally, myself, I need the support. I'm telling you, I'm meaning it couldn't sham, you shall tampoc than to an end. You shall tampoc pianga musewa, you shall tampoc pianga musew. So, Nimue worth it to look after me. Help me. Canoca flatty, a daily pillar on rent. Ninquataka flatty, a customer, no problem. The party of Wafia. So I said, that's ah, okay. Namulea. But otherwise, you know, and if you win, So, and, um, and like I said yesterday, that there is too much division. Now I start divide. He has really divided us. And that's why I'm saying we need a mature leader to come and unite a country. We don't want a zealous person. We don't want a vengeful person. We, want, we don't want a bitter person. Me, I want somebody that will come and unite this country. Because Southerners are my brothers and sisters. Like I told you, I've got a lot of, I've got more friends in Southern province. I've got relatives in Southern province. My own sister is married to somebody from Southern province. I've got children, nephews, nieces who are from Southern Province. So I don't want a leader that will come and divide us because, I mean, where will my nieces go? Where will my nephews go? I love them. I love my sisters. I love my brother, my brother-in-laws. So I want somebody that is going to unite this country. Baka and them has divided this country. That's why we are having this kind of language from this guy. 
from this girl, you know. This girl was talking, and the, and you are busy defending her. If it was, eh? We Tongas, we don't know how to speak English. Yeah. Eh? I mean, just the way she's talking, really. If we, if I was talking, eh? Mwatonga, Mwanya. Imagine if I just said that. Hmm? It would be a big issue. What this girl said, you cannot compare it to what that uh, uh, Jackson Chama said. Hmm? Imagine that. Yeah, so but this kind of thing it, it, it is not good, really. It's not good. We don't need this. But Waka in the has created this. It is not us who are bringing tribalism. We are reacting from tribalism of Waka in the Me, I'm not tribal. I am not tribal, but I'm reacting to the tribal to the tribe to the tribalism that is going on by by Baaka in the HLM. When we react to it, that no, whatever tribal, whatever, whatever. But no, we are reacting. We have to speak to this. It is wrong what is currently happening, where a number of people from this from the Zambezi region are being considered. Yes, of course, we are we have a few that are being considered from this other side, but clearly we can see the bias. We can see the bars, a few here and there that have been taken. You cannot say that Bahaka uh, uh, is in, uh, uh, uniting the country. No, he's not. Because majority of people coming from the other regions are outside, are being left out. That is what we are complaining. We are reacting to that. And it's a fact. No matter how much you want to run away from it, it is a fact. It is a fact. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.